Welcome to the Half Done Hobbyist. My name's Simon and I'm very happy you've joined me. Today I'm going to attempt to fix a few problems I have with my laser cut paint racks by 3D printing my own. I'll be taking you through my whole process and hopefully you'll find it interesting. If you're enjoying these types of videos that I'm making, please like and subscribe and I will make more of them for you. My main problems that I have with my cheap laser cut paint racks are number one, they're pretty huge, take up a lot of space on my desk and number two, you can't always see the names of your paint pots so you end up having to take a paint pot out to have a look at the name, uh, it's pretty annoying. So any design that I come up with has to address those two issues. With these limitations in mind, I set out to design my own ones. I tried to model my idea in Cheetah 3D first, but it soon became very apparent that it just wasn't accurate enough and not flexible enough for 3D printing, so I ditched that idea. I decided to do something that I've been meaning to do for quite a while and learn a CAD software package. A lot of the 3D printing channels that I watch, they all use Fusion 360 by Autodesk, so I thought I would give it a try. As with any complex software package, it seemed pretty daunting at first, but I'm really glad that I decided to invest the time in learning this software package. It didn't actually take as much time as I thought it would. It took a few hours of watching tutorials online before I was up and running. The payoff has definitely been worth it. It's made my 3D designing of models much, much easier and more accurate and just all round better. Very happy with it. I started off by watching a few videos by Lars Christensen of Autodesk. He's got literally hundreds and hundreds of videos online um, on YouTube so, and he, can, he covers every topic you could imagine, every shape you could imagine, so he's the best place to start, I think. I was surprised at how easily things came to life on my screen after watching these tutorials. I never really got stuck either. Um, I could always find the solution pretty easily after uh, getting some expert tuition. Armed with my new knowledge and my new skills, I decided to jump straight in and design my first paint rack. When I'm designing something, I use an iterative process with fast prototyping. Basically what this means is I come up with an idea, I make a small model of it to try to test out the idea. Um, if this one works, I add an extra feature to it. If that one works, then I add another one. So on and so on until I have a fully fledged product. I actually really liked my first uh, idea. It looked like it would fulfil the brief, it would um, be smaller on my desk, it would also be stackable, so I'd have a lot more vertical space taken up but not horizontal, which is what I wanted, and I could see the, the paint names really clearly. It was designed as a step design, same as my laser cut paint racks. Each rack had a, a small lip on it to keep the paints in place. There were trade-offs. Each step had to be pretty high to accommodate the largest of the Citadel paint pots, which was a wash pot um, and the reason I had to ditch this design is because after uh, building it and putting it through my 3D printing slicer, which is the software that translates your 3D model into G-code for your 3D printer to print out, um, it was going to take over a day to print because of the supports that re were required. If there's an overhang in midair on your model, then um, it has to print out a support, which if you can imagine a step design, the whole area under the steps would be support. So that's why it was going to take so long. So back to the drawing board for me. Um, I came up with a design where each pot would have its own space on the rack and it would be held in um, by little arms. So I used the width of a Citadel pot, which was about 3.5 centimetres, to create a sketch in Fusion 360. Um, I then built on the sketch, extruded it, hollowed it out and just removed parts until it was the, the shape that I, I required. My first prototype was just um, a circular pot holder with a gap cut in the front so you could read the label. This was okay but if you had a longer label then it got lost to, the, to each side so um, I decided to cut a hole at the height of the Citadel label. So it would go up about 0 0.7 centimetres and then in so that you could read the label all the way across. I printed out my prototype to test this and it worked absolutely beautifully. The next problem to solve was height. If the racks were stacked then it was quite difficult to get a paint pot 
out of the rack just by grabbing onto it. So I decided to cut a slot in the bottom of each holder so you could get your thumb underneath and your finger on top of it and just prise the pot out that way. I was happy with this solution and roughly tested it out using the prototypes I already had so I decided that that was going to be the final design. I copied the pot holder uh, about another four times so that there were five across and I put a back on, on the rack two, two millimetres deep and I made sure it was uh, a couple of millimetres higher than a wash pot. This version was looking really viable so I cut four holes in the back and put a little lip on each one for a custom connector that I'd also built. I designed the stand in an L shape with little hooks on it which would come through the back of the rack and hook onto it and the weight of the rack would hold it on. I'm not going to pretend this was plain sailing, there was a lot of trial and error, lots of prototypes printed out. Either uh, it didn't f the connector didn't fit, the connector was too weak, all that kind of stuff. But eventually we got there and I've got a product that I'm really happy with. So I printed out a couple of stands, uh, five across and two tiers up. If I'm being honest I probably would have printed all the racks out black but um, I ran out of filament. So you can let me know below if you think this was a happy accident or an absolute disaster. I decided that the rack was really actually quite sturdy with two tiers so I decided to move to three tiers and this worked just as well. Uh, I toyed with the idea of a fourth tier but I think that would be pushing it and it would be quite unstable. So three tiers it is. I added tapered holes into the back of the stands so that you could wall mount it if you wanted to. I'm not actually going down this route but um, you can if you want. I don't take any um, responsibility if your paint rack falls off the wall though. I printed out five Citadel racks in all but I will need several more if I'm going to get my entire paint collection in these things which is my aim. I've done exactly the same process for Vallejo pots as well. There's no way they would fit on the Citadel rack because they're far too tall. They're about two centimetres taller than a wash pot so I gave up trying to integrate them so I just made their, their own racks for them and that's worked well as well. So I've got a two tier Vallejo rack with uh, seven paints across and it takes up hardly any space, it's great. I've included links to the STL files below so you can print your own if you want to. Uh, let me know in the comments if, if you do this and how it goes for you. As has become typical for my videos I've always got the principle of continuous improvement in mind. There are always things I can improve in the future. Slots for brushes, better looking stands, higher capacity racks, screw in wall mountings and maybe even a fold away carrying handle. I know some of this seems daunting but if I can do it anyone can do it. I basically went in a week from not having a clue about CAD to designing my own product. It's a, it's a version 1 but um, it's definitely set me on the road to designing more stuff. So I hope you've been inspired to try something new after watching this video. I really enjoyed the process of designing and creating a product from scratch and I'll definitely be doing more in the future. It won't necessarily be tools that I create, I've got an idea for a range of terrain for Warhammer 40k and I also want to do a board for my first love which is Space Hulk. So I might do a multi-tiered, multi-floor board for Space Hulk. Stay tuned for that. Thanks very much for watching, I hope you've had as much fun watching as I have making this video. I really enjoyed this one. If you'd like to see more of them, like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Thanks very much.